Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good, good evening. Good evening, how hello. are you? All right, thanks. You're very fine? Excellent. Tell me, how was the weekend? Good. It was very good? Excellent, relax? Mm, very good, yes. Will you relax? Yeah, that's really nice. Cool. Okay. Welcome, Juan Antonio. We have Angelica, Jensi, Jessica Rivas. We have Miguel Antonio. Who else do we have? Luz Garcia, Sandra Marisol. Welcome, everyone, to your class. Is everyone okay? Everybody fine? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Everybody Good evening. Good. Thanks. Good evening. Welcome. All right. Let's remember the previous, the previous class. Remember that we were studying about the weather, right? What's the weather like? And we saw about this conversation. Now tell me, what's the weather like in this picture? Hello? Hello. Hello. Se escucha. Hello. Yes. Yes. Escucha bien? Tell me, tell me, please, a question. What's the weather like in this picture? Is it, uh, if you say it's rainy, it's snowy, it's sunny, what's the weather like? It's rainy. It's raining. Are you sure? Look at the picture very well. Mm, Maybe no. they are in the United States or in Canada, right? Nevando, como se dice? It's snowing. Yeah, that's correct. Uh -huh. So it's, it's snowing. It's snowing. Mm -hmm. snowing. That's correct. So it's like this. It's snowing. It's like this exactly. Good one. Now, can you tell me what is your favorite weather? What's your favorite weather? Those guys see? Or what's um, your favorite season? Mm -hmm. It's you know, is it spring, is it fall, it's winter? Uh -huh. Winter. Sí, escucho Winter. suave porque está lloviendo por acá. Ah, yes. <laughs> so, oh, so what's the weather like? It's raining, right? <laughs> sí, yes. It's raining near your house. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Luz. Now, let's continue then. Tell me, Veronica, Veronica, what is your favorite season? Veronica, are you present? Hello, teacher. Hello. Welcome. Ahorita me voy conectando porque aquí, aquí estaba una, una tormenta bien fuerte. No sé ah, de qué okay. está preguntando. Ah, okay. We're investigating here about the weather, the climate. Uh, what is your favorite season? If it's winter, if it's summer. What's your uh, favorite? Summer. One? Summer. It's summer. How? Oh, because you like to go to the beach, I imagine, right? <laughs> you like that the hot weather. All right, good one. Now let's continue, guys. Then. Yo le escucho un poco cortado, profe, porque. Yes. Aquí igual it's está raining. lloviendo, entonces, it's sí. <laughs> sí, desde ya yes. rato está lloviendo. Yo pensé que a la hora de clases tal vez se quitaba, pero no. Ha seguido en varias No sé si seguido. puedo estar solo de oyente o cuando, okay. o sea, si no, si no le escucho muy cortado, sí voy a participar, perfect. ¿verdad? Pero, pero por cualquier cosa, sí. Ok, perfect. Perfect. Thank you very much. That's ok. Ok, then let's go ahead. Let's continue. Now we are going to study about this. We have the next topic. It says, by the end of this class, you will be able to form statements using the present continuous. 
That means we are going to formulate the time of present continuum. But what is the present continuum? Well, it says here, present continuous tense is used to describe a continuous or an ongoing action of the present. So basically it's to represent an action that is occurring. Para describir acciones que están sucediendo en el momento. And we have different forms, right? We have affirmative, we have negative, and we have questions. For the affirmative present, we have a subject, Plus, well, we have conjugation of the verb to be. So if it's is, am, or are, remember this, it depends on the subject. Plus, or we include a verb with an ing form. For example, he is playing football. Now let's check. We have another example here. In the picture, it says, he is driving a car. Look at the subject. Is he, is a man. And the action is drive. Now, to continue with this, we need actions. For that is action verbs. So they are verbs that represents an action that you have. For example, if we have here about these actions, like a walk, we have the action walk, run, ride, sit down, stand up, Fight, think, cry, listen, play, read, and laugh. Do you have a new verb? Ven un, un verbo nuevo. Y que tengan preguntas de vocabulario. Any question? Hello? Hello, can you hear? Bye. Which one? Right. Good evening, teacher. Hey, no. good evening. Fight. Welcome. Oh, fight. This one. Yes. Fight, fight means pelear or luchar. That is fight. What about think? What is think? Hey, welcome. Pensar. 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 Excellent. That's correct. Very good job. That's nice. Puede ser pensar y también creer, como cuando uno da una opinión de algo. Think. I think about eh, my future. Pienso en mi futuro. Eso sería de acción. Y si doy una opinión, puede ser como, I think that. I think that Mexican food is delicious. <coughs> For example. That will be with think. What about cry? What is cry? Llorar. Llorar. Excellent. That's good. Listen. Escuchar. Very good. What about play? What is play? Jugar. Jugar. That's good. También puede referirse a tocar un instrumento musical. Esto puede ser play the piano, play um, the saxophone. Play the trumpet. Todo depende de si es un instrumento musical, entonces es de crear música. Let's see, read. What is read? Leer. 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 Perfect. Laugh. Reír. Reír. Excelente. What about walk? Walk. Caminar. Caminar. Perfect. That's right. Run. Correr. Correr. That's Correr. good. Ride. Uh -huh. montar montar una bicicleta montar una motocicleta eh, what else can we ride ¿Qué más se puede montar un caballo ride a horse ride a horse ride a motorcycle ride a, an elephant yeah, esos son elefantes yeah, you can ride an elephant no, aquí no aplica como drive ¿verdad? porque no se conduce sino se monta ride. we have sit down and stand up now, as you observe here, we have the structure. What is the formula? Present continuous. Don't forget that verb be is part of this structure. So we need to conjugate the verb to be. It depends on the subject that we have. For example, I am, and you include verb ing. You, we, they are, verb plus the ing. 
he, he eat, is, and a verb, in a yeg. So let's see now some examples. We have a number one. I am currently studying for my exams. The subject is I. The verb to be am. All of this, we have like uh, the verb with the ing. The original form of the verb or the base form of the verb is study. But we include ing to represent that the action is at this moment. So, estoy actualmente estudiando para mis exámenes. That is the form. Es realizar una acción en el momento. Number two, it says, she is playing the guitar right now. Three, they are watching a movie at the cinema. Let's see, number four. We are having lunch in the restaurant. Five, he is cooking dinner for his family. Six, the children are playing outside in the yard. Seven, I am talking to my friend on the phone. Eight, she is practicing her dance routine. Nine, they are painting their living room. 10, we are listening to music in the car. So if you observe, we have the same structure, right? We have the subject, we have the verb to be, we have the action or the verb in the ing form. Now we are going to read them. Oscar, can you please read number one? I am currently studying Study? for my exam. Studying. Uh -huh, that's studying. Good. Very good for my exams. Okay, studying for my exams. Excellent, thank you. That's good. Juan Antonio, continue, please. Number two. She's playing playing the guitar right now. Right now. That's good job. Thank you, Veronica. Number three. They are watching a movie of the cinema. Uh, the cinema, Thank that's you. right. Thank you. Good. Jency, continue, please. Number four. Um, we are having a lunch in the restaurant. Very good. Thank you. Catherine Rebecca, number five. Hi. He, Hello. he is He's cooking been... dinner for his family. For his family, very good job, nice. Jessica Rivas, can you listen? Tal vez no se escucha bien, Jessica, no? Uh, the children are playing outside in the yard. That's really good, thank you, nice. Joaquin, continue. Seven. Joaquin, can you listen? No? Kevin, continue then. Hey, I'm talking to my friend on the Hi. phone. On the phone, that's right. Thank you. Brenda, continue, please. Eight. She is practic practicing? Her practicing her dance routine. Ru routine. That's right. Thank you. Continue, Miguel Antonio. Nine. Miguel Antonio, can you listen to us? No? Angelic. Hola. Hola. Hello, 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 girl. Number nine, please. Can you listen? The future. Okay. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Um, they, they are. Ajá. Uh -huh. Um. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Painting, painting. They are painting the living room. Living room, that's correct. Nice one, that's good. Thank you. Lutz, continue, please. We are listening uh -huh. to music in the car. In the car, very good. Thank you, that's nice. Okay, now tell me, do you have questions with this? 
Eh, eh, lo del ING al final, ¿solo se les agrega los verbos o lleva algunos verbos algo otra letra? No, in this case, for example, with the verb have, en el caso del verbo have, porque acá lleva ING, cuando el verbo termina en una E, vamos a hacer de esta manera. En el caso del verbo have, su forma base termina en E, pero eso se le va a eliminar y te va a sustituir. Se lleva ING. Ahora, hay algunos que siguen la regla, por ejemplo, cut. What is cut? What is the cut? Cortar. Cortar, correct. In this case, you are going to duplicate. Porque sigue la regla de consonante, vocal consonante. Cut. Consonante, vocal consonante. Se duplica. Y en este caso sí se va a agregar otra letra. Aquí. Me ayudan con el audio, por favor. Hello. Ok, so en el caso de acá, como les explicaba, en el, en el verbo cut. Como este verbo en su forma base lleva consonante, vocal, consonante, al modificarlo va a llevar la multiplicación de eh, la última letra. So, en este caso sería cutting. Hay otro verbo, por ejemplo, que es el verbo put, que es colocar, poner. Si quiero decir, I am putting, estoy colocando algo en un lugar, entonces le duplico la consonante. Y sería putting. Tenemos otro que es sit. Sit. I am sitting. Duplicate the last consonant. The case of swim also. En el caso de nadar, su forma base, las últimas tres letras terminan en consonante, vocal consonante. Entonces debo de multiplicar o duplicarla. I and G. Entonces M, I and G. So this is the rule that, that we follow. We say cutting, putting, sitting, swimming. Eso es siguiendo la regla. De lo contrario, pues la mayoría de verbos solo se le agrega una ING. Questions about that? Hello? No questions? Gracias. Thank you. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Any doubt? ¿Alguna duda? ¿No? Eh, ¿Por qué este se les agregan este, más letras? Es por regla. Ale por, regla uh -huh. grama por regla gramatical, cuando un verbo en inglés, las últimas tres letras terminan en consonante, vocal consonante, así como los ejemplos de estos verbos, entonces, cuando la modificamos, o sea, en presente progresivo, debemos de duplicar la última consonante. En el caso de cutting, putting, sitting, swimming. Es por regla. Pero tiene que, ah, okay. cumplir, tiene que cumplir esa regla. Las últimas uh -huh. tres letras del verbo deben de terminar en consonante, vocal, consonante. De lo contrario, ah. no aplica, se va normal el verbo. Es así como el verbo study. Si observamos acá, el verbo study, su forma base es study, termina en la Y, pero no aplica regla porque en las últimas tres letras de study es vocal, consonante, consonante. Entonces aquí no aplica. Entonces uh -huh. se, agrega, se agrega normal el ING. Otro caso sería play. Es uh -huh. consonante, vocal, consonante, pero no, no aplica porque termina con una Y. Hay unas excepciones también. Playing de guitar, watch, y el uh -huh. uso de watch no aplica porque lleva eh, consonante, consonante, consonante. So it's only ING. Only ING. Sí. Uh -huh. Any other question, guys? 
Ok. No more questions? Preguntas? No more? Más preguntas? Ok, let's continue then. Now we're going to watch a video from the platform. Hi everyone. In this class you learn Can you hear? Yes? No problem? Yes? yes. No, no. No okay. problem. Perfect. Learn how to Thank form you. statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be plus the verb in its ing form plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So, as our examples show, you're wearing shoes, okay? I'm going to go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be, are, the verb plus ing, wearing, plus the complement in this case happens to be shoe. We're wearing shoes, they're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that'll be, they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right-hand side, and and but, are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's giving additional information. I'm wearing a coat but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting the information. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you, your family, your friends and coworkers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. Give as many examples as you can. 
and share them in our discussion forums. Let's go ahead here. As you watched the video there, we saw about the formula, right? We have affirmative. We also have the negative manner. Now, let's go ahead here. We're going to practice it. We have an example here. <clears throat> let's see this one. I am riding my bike, but I'm not wearing tennis. Remember that but is like an exception, right? Estoy en montando mi bici, pero no estoy usando tennis. So you have like a difference there, right? Like a contrast. Now, you give me simple sentences, or we can say like this. Another example would be, my brother is trying. Give me more examples, please. Rene, give us another example. Dígame. One example, please. Just one of these verbs. Elija uno de estos verbs. I am. I am. Sit down. Ah, that's good. I am sitting down. Yeah, that's very good. Okay, we're going to write it here. I am sitting down. Excellent. That is correct. I am sitting down. Sitting down, yes. On the chair, for example, right? We can say it. on the chair. That's very good. Thank you. Oscar, give us another example. Okay. I am wrong. I am running. I am running. Remember? Excellent. That's good. Remember in the moment, I am running. You can give another compliment. In the park, in the garden, in front of my house. Uh, near near uh -huh. to the street. Near the street. Mm -hmm. Near That's the street. Good. Near the street. Excellent. That's mm -hmm. correct. I am running near the streets. That's good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Continue, Brenda. Okay. My sister. Uh huh. Stamp. My sister is. Stamp. Uh -huh. This one. Standing up. Standing up. Okay, that's good. Standing up. That's very good. Veamos acá, en cuanto a sit down y stand up, estos describen un estado del cuerpo, que uno está parado o está sentado, ¿verdad? No, no se traduce como me estoy sentando sino, o, o me estoy parando, sino simplemente estoy sentado. Porque en el momento, ¿verdad? Este es el estado del cuerpo. Thank you, Brenda. Very good. Continue, Angelique. Select another action. Yeah, yeah. Hello, good evening, girl. My brother. My brother. Is playing. He's playing. All right, that's good. He's playing. Excellent. Let's continue, Luz Garcia. I am going to the beach. I am going no, yeah. to the beach. Ah, that's good. I am not uh, wearing swimsuit. Hey, that's good. Excellent. That's good. But I'm not wearing a swimsuit. Very good job. That's nice. I am going to the beach, but I'm not wearing. Thank you so much. Let's see Jessica Rivas. Jessica, Jessica Rivas, can you listen? No? Yes. I am listening to the class. Excellent. That's good. Remember that you can use also construction. So you can say, 
I'm listening to the class. Great. What happened here? Yes. Thank you so much. Juan Antonio? Another example, please. I am working. Hey, okay, that's right. I'm working. In the play, in the, in the, in the play, place, in the plaza, in the place. Ah, oh, that's good. In the place. That's uh, right. I am working. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes, repeat it, please. I am working. I am working in the place. In the place. Very good. That's nice. Working, right? Working. Mm. Yes? Working or working. Uh huh. You say working or walking? Working. 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 Okay, so that's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Miguel, continue, please. I am reading. I'm I reading. Read. Reading. Remember, I-N-G, I-N-G, uh-huh, reading. Uh, reading. My book. My book, very good job, yes, my book. Excellent, thank you, Miguel, that's good. Jensi? Now, tell me about other persons, please. You can say, my mother, my best friend. Um, my friend. Okay, my friend. Is... Play. Yes. ING is play. Playing. Remember ING. Playing. Um, playing. Harmonic. What do you mean? I, I don't. No le escucho la última parte. My friend is playing. Harmonic. Eh, the harmonic. Uh -huh. Is that oh, okay? It's a musical okay. instrument. Okay, the harmonic. Very good. Thank you. Let's continue then. Let's see, Luz. Luz Garcia. Luz, can you listen to us? No? Yes. Yes. I am playing the soccer. I am playing soccer. Yes, that's right one. Thank you, Luz. That's all right. Jessica Franco? Jessica Franco, can you listen to us? No? I am running in the park. I, I am, am? Ru running Run. in the park. Run. Ah, that's good. Running. In the park. Thank you. That's oh. great. Let's continue then. Catherine Rebecca. And my song. That's cool. My song. Okay. My playing. Son. My son is where to be. Play playing. Is it's playing. playing. In the yes. cell phone. On the cell phone. On the cell phone. Yeah, so, very good. It's playing on the cell phone. On the cell phone, excellent. That's correct. Sandra Marisol, continue, please. Sandra, can you listen to us? Kevin? Bye. I'm sorry, Sandra, can you listen to us? Sandra? All right, Kevin, give us an example, please. I am going to play on the beach. Um, play it? Going. Ah, I'm going to the beach. Going to, to play. To play. Going to the beach. Okay. Let me to play here. on the beach. 
to play on the beach. That's great. Thank you. Let's continue. Carlos, Carlos Arturo. My dad is listening music. Listening to music. To music. That's good. My dad is listening to music. Excellent. That's right. Let me verify this. Okay, we got this one. Now let's see Jancy, Jancy Ramos. Yancy, are you present? Uh -huh. What would be your example? Sorry? Yancy? What? Your example. One example. I am laughing, I am reading, I am walking, writing, thinking. Hello, Jancy. Are you present? No? Okay, let's go ahead then, guys. We're going to continue here. Teacher, una, una pregunta. Yes, yes tell me. Eh, con, el, con el tú, eh, ¿cuál es la diferencia de si lo lleva o, o no lo lleva? ¿O cuándo es correcto ocupar? Por, uh, por ejemplo, en la oración que hicimos, el mm -hmm. to music, eh, ¿cuál es la, lo correcto? To music, yes, the correct form is listen to music. This one goes accompanied, entonces siempre van juntos. Hay verbos que siempre necesitan de una preposición para tener sentido y ubicarlas en el contexto. Sería incorrecto decir como my dad is listening music or I am listening the class. I am listening you is I am listening to you. I am listening to the radio. I am listening to my favorite song. So es por eh, es la, la estructura que lleva este verbo que siempre okay. va acompañado de esa preposición to. Es como think. El verbo think lleva también la preposición about. I am thinking about eh, the project. So my preposition here is this one. Thinking about. Se okay. Necesita de esa preposición porque hay otras preposiciones. Entonces, para saber cuál es el contexto. Is I am thinking the project. No, right? Estoy pensando acerca del proyecto o en el proyecto. Ok. Es parte de la estructura. Es, depende del verbo que lleva. Thanks. You're very welcome. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? ¿Duda? What is book en español? Cook. Book. Oh, this one? Book. Sí. Libro. Mm. Libro. Like this. Okay. I am reading my book, my English book, my mathematics mm -hmm. book. Mm -hmm. is science book, the English book, the language book. First, libro. Okay. Mm -hmm. y, y para poder ver este video en YouTube, este, eh, ¿cómo lo debo de digitar para que me caiga cabal? Este es la, rep la repeticiones de estas clases. Este, este de acá lo va a ver en la plataforma. Es, ustedes tienen acceso. Uh -huh. Cuando usted ingresa a la plataforma, le va a aparecer estas partes de acá. Y de hecho acá en videoconferencia les aparecen todas las clases que ya tuvimos. Entonces uh -huh. ustedes las pueden ver cuantas veces ustedes quieran. E igual acá, ¿verdad? Cuando le da en la parte de curso, les va a aparecer todas las secciones que hemos ido viendo. Los temas, uh -huh. todo lo que se han ido desarrollando. Por ejemplo, ahorita estamos en sección 4. Ajá. Uh -huh. En esta parte de acá. 
Entonces, ahí les van a ir apareciendo cada, cada tema. Entonces, solo lo va ah, pasando, okay. le, le va a dar el siguiente y les aparece primero el objetivo, cuál es el, el objetivo de la clase, qué es lo que usted va a aprender. Y, y después le va dando el siguiente y les aparece el video. Ya les aparece ahí, guardado, así como acá. Y es el que acabamos de ver. Sí. Este punto de acá. Y acá solo le da play y ya empieza. Ok. Yes. Sí, y a veces este, cuando uno responde eh, lo, las preguntas que hay, hay que enviarlas, ¿verdad? Creo que ya, me debe, ya se hayan respondido y, y hayan dos que estén equivocadas por alguna letra o por una mala escritura. Y si uno las quiere corregir, yo creo que ya no, ya no, ya no vale volverlas a enviar. Fíjense que les permite que las vuelvan a enviar. Ustedes las pueden corregir. Uh -huh. Sí, ajá. Ah, ok. Y, y en este y caso, envían. este, en el caso de que, eh, bueno, yo hoy traté de, a última hora de, de enviar lo que es lo, la, las cuestiones o las preguntas eh, que hacen sobre lo, lo, los horarios de, de, de saber este, interpretar eh, por de las horas en el reloj. ¿verdad? Poder uh -huh. este, describirlo en inglés, decir que tal hora es tal hora o faltan tanto Ajá. para tanto. Ajá. Sí. Yo les respondí todas y, y, y todas, todas, toditas me salieron malas. Uh -huh. y, y ya quise yo volverlas a corregir, pero no me permitía ya el, el ya programa. Yo, Ajá, no sé si eh. tal vez hay un problema con el internet, no sé, ¿verdad? Ajá. Puede probar, tal vez saliéndose, si cuando le pase así, intente salirse de la plataforma y, y vuelva a entrar, porque a veces sí da, da falla por el internet. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. En esa ah, parte, okay. perdón, perdón que interrumpa. Salve, Miguel. Eh, en esa parte son dos opciones que tienes que elegir. Uh -huh. Sí, porque son hay dos opciones. opciones, que de hecho mañana vamos a arrancar con eso para que vean ustedes las dos opciones que Exacto. hay para dar las horas, porque no hay una única. Sí, yo lo único español? que, bueno, yo ya terminé todo, todo lo de la ah, plataforma. Really nice. Solo que en la 5.13 eh, no logro captar lo, lo que es el audio. Entonces no logro mm. eh, diferenciar qué es lo que me pide. Ok, ese es con respecto a la hora, ¿verdad? No, no, no. Es punto? con respecto ya... ¿Qué punto a la es, forma perdón? de pronunciación es. Ah, ok. ¿Qué punto es? Ajá, ese es 5.13. 5.13, ok. Sí, donde okay. le preguntan, eh, what's Mary doing? ¿Qué está haciendo Ma María? Mm, it's present progressive. Mm -hmm. ¿O qué hace María? Uh -huh. ¿Qué está haciendo? Ajá. Ajá, ¿qué está Ajá. haciendo? De hecho, el, el tema que, que acabamos de empezar. Ah, ah. creo que sí. Exacto, Ajá. entonces ahí vamos a ir despejando las dudas, viendo más ejemplos. Ajá, pero, pero es, por el, es por el audio, o sea, no, no logro captar qué es lo que me interpreta. Eh, ok, vamos a hacer. Porque yes. solo pude adivinar dos con lo que escuchaba, o sea, el audio. Ok, ok, les voy a enviar entonces más audios también para comenzar más el oído. Luz. Sorry. Sí, sí, teacher. Es que en esa misma parte yo me quedé igual que no, no supe realmente el sonido de, de que era Ajá. solo como un dos o tres me salieron buenas. Ok, no, don't worry. Les voy a enviar más videos y más escuchas para que ustedes vayan adaptando más el oído. Ah, um, bueno. Ajá. Thank you. Ahora oh, bueno, no empezamos. Thank you so much. No lo habíamos, no lo habíamos visto. Very, thank you, thank you very much. We're going to take advantage and we're going to take uh, uh, the list right now. Guys. Okay, so tell me if you are present. Let me see. Alicia? Alicia Maribel is present? No? Angelica Maria? Angelica? Angelic is not present? Brenda Marcela. Present. Thank you so much. Carlos Arturo. Present. 
Thank you. Jessica, is Jessica, Thank you. Joaquin Jesus. Joaquin Jesus. Juan Antonio. Present. Thank you. Catherine Rebecca. Catherine Rebecca. Present. Thank you. Kevin Orlando. Present. Thank you. Loida Citali. Loida Citali. Luis Antonio. Luis Antonio. Luis. Luis Margel. Present. Thank you. Maria Inés. Maria Inés. Then we have um, Marvin Manuel. Marvin Manuel. Marvin. Miguel Antonio. Present Miguel. teacher. Thank you. Oscar Esaú. Oscar Esaú. Present. Thank you. Reina Isabel. Present. Thank you. Reina Isabel. Reina, René Alfonso, thank you very much, Sandra Marisol, present, thank you so much, Veronica Maricela, Veronica, Jancy Yamilet, <coughs> Present. Thank you. Jensi Alexandra. Thank you. Jessica Esmeralda. Yes, she was present. She told me. And Jessica Rivas. Present. Yes. Thank you very present. much, guys. Thank you so much. All right. Let's go ahead then. Teacher. Yes. Tell me. Yo no, no escuché eh, cuando me mencionó. Kevin, right? Okay. Kevin. Yes, let me check in. We got Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Yes, uh -huh. yes, I have you. Eh, pueda que ahorita está fallando la, uh -huh. la señal porque hay bastante sí. nubazón con muchos relámpagos y truenos Cierto. por eso quizá sí. algunos perdieron quizá ya la, el, el, o sea, la comunicación verdad sí sí uh -huh. ahí les he visto en los mensajes uh -huh. ahí que, que hola me están fallando hello hola 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 Angelique, uh -huh. yes. Ah, y ahorita uh -huh. me volví a conectar. Ah, ok, no problem. Aquí lo agrego a la lista. Señor Angelique, yes. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. We are present here. Kevin is present. Yes, ok. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead then with our class. All right, so we were with the examples, right? The present progressive form or the present continuous. Now, remember that you have this exercise on the platform. And this is an example, right? So if you have, like, my name is Claire. I'm wearing a great suit today. What is the form here? What would be the correct? Algunos ya lo llenaron, ¿verdad? I will be the call right here. I'm wearing. Mm -hmm, that's good. 
Am um, well. Remember here it can be am or I am. I'm wearing. And you have the complement, right? You say, I'm wearing. Okay, in este caso, como ya tenemos el sujeto aquí al inicio, a veces ese es el error que da, ¿verdad? Que uno lo pone correcto, eh, perdón, completo. Y ya está el sujeto acá. Entonces, solo hay que agregarle el verb to be y el ing. Ni punto ni nada, porque como acá sigue la oración. Entonces, I am wearing high heels. O el apostrophe M para hacer una contracción. So, I am wearing high heels too. What about the next one? It's raining, but... What would be the correct? Carlos Arturo? Um, I'm not wearing... Excellent. Very good. Como acá ese, ese, ese batch nos indica que, que hay algo contrario a lo primero. ¿verdad? It's raining, but I'm not wearing a raincoat. Yeah, that's correct. So that would be in the, in the form that you have in, in the platform, the example, right, of the exercise. Now let's continue with the next part. All right. In this one will be the yes, no questions like in this form. So we are in this part. In the yes, no question, we have like uh, this uh, verb be, if it is, am, are, plus subject, plus be, and the ing. For example, is he playing football? Remember this, a yes, no question, investigates is affirmative or negative. We have other examples here. Are you learning? Yes, I am. Is she playing tennis? No, she isn't. So she is playing soccer, right? Are they having dinner? Yes, they are. So this is the structure that we need to follow it. Now we have other example here. We are going to read them. Brenda, can you please read the first one? We have yes, no questions. Brenda? Uh, repetition, no. Repeat, repeat this one, please. Like, is he writing now? He is writing is he, now. Is he? 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 That's good. Writing, writing, now. writing now. Is he writing, writing now? now? Very good. And short answer. Yes, he is. Repeat. Yes, he is. Very good. Thank you. Miguel, continue. Is he playing at the moment? Is he, is he playing at the moment? Mm -hmm, great. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. That's correct. Thank you. Gen C, continue, please. Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? Very good. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Excellent. That's good. Catherine, Rebecca, are mm -hmm. they reading? Are they reading? Are they reading? Are they reading? No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Excellent. No, Very they good. aren't. Really good job. That's nice. Okay, we have other examples here. Am I skating? Continue. Jancy, please. Jancy. Jancy Ramos. Yeah. Am I skating? Jancy? Okay. Am I skating? Sandra Marisol? Yeah. Sandra? Am I skating? Am I skating? Uh -huh. Am I skating? The answer? No, you no, aren't. You aren't. That's good. Okay. Am I making a snowman? Jessica Rivas, continue, mm. please. Am I making a snowman? 
Yes, you are. Okay, yes, you are. That's good. Continue. Miguel, Miguel Antonio. Are they having dinner? Miguel? Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's okay. Como dijo. Are they having dinner? Are they having dinner? Mm -hmm. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Very good job. Nice. Gen C. Are they reading a book? Uh, yes, they are. Yes, they are. That's the answer. Correct. Oscar, continue, please. Is he watching a film? Is he watching a film? No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Good. Kevin, continue. Is he playing a video game? Is he playing a video game? He is. A video game. Yes, video? He, is. he is. That's good. Thank you. Continue, Angelique. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Very good. Jessica Vanessa. Jessica Rivas, can you listen to us? Sí, ya le yes. escucho. Okay, good. Are you playing with your kite? Are you playing with your kite? Excellent. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Excellent job. That's good. Okay, guys, do you have questions? ¿Qué quiere decir kite? Kite. Kite means cometa. Or like here in El Salvador, we say piscucha. <laughs> that is a kite. Ah, uh, uh, sí, sí. <laughs> sí. So if you play with a kite, right? Remember the kites? They are like in different colors, in different sizes. They are small, they are big. Uh -huh. So those are the kites. Y you know, dice este, la primera oración... Eh, ahí está como preguntándose a uno mismo, dice, am, am, am I, así, ¿verdad? Eh, así se am dice. I, am I, am I. Ah, am I, Ajá, am I. Okay. Skating significa, Ajá, es, skating, skating ¿qué means, significa? That it means mm, it skating. patinando. Mm, patinando, ajá. Uh -huh. Estoy bueno, patinando, pero es en el ya. caso de que yo le pregunte a alguien más. Estoy patinando, y le responde, no. Tú no lo estás o no estás patinando. Ahora, yo también me puedo preguntar a mí mismo. ¿Am I skating? Estoy patinando. Y luego me doy cuenta. No, I'm not. Pero acá ya sujeto sería diferente. No, no estoy patinando. No, I'm not. Uh -huh. Todo depende a quién le pregunte. Uh -huh. ¿Quién va dirigida a la pregunta? Así va a ser mi sujeto la respuesta. Ah, uh, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes. Any other question? No more questions? Y esa palabra es no, es no, no, no sé cómo es. La palabra es la segunda. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. this, is, this is a snowman. ¿Qué significa? This one. This, Hombre this de nieve. Algo así. Ajá, correcto. Exactly. It's this picture, right? It's yeah, this picture, right? Snowman. Ajá, like in Canada, the United States. People can make a snowman. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's a snowman. 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 Yes. Correct. Any other question? All right, guys. We're going to continue tomorrow then, okay? I'm going to send you videos. Vamos a seguir mañana. Les voy a enviar unos videos para regresar el Present Progress.